Piracy comes in many forms. There's the watching movies for free, there's getting all scurvy on some boats on the sea, and there's being a dickhead and stealing things off of a porch. And that's what I'll be talking about today. The third one, the latter, because there has been a growing trend of porch pirates. And for those of you that don't know what porch pirates are, the definition is literally in the name. Give it a second. Let it marinate. Yes, they steal things off porches. There's been a lot of different ways that people have been coming up with to defend their porches from porch pirates. There's, of course, just getting a ring doorbell or a camera on your doorbell that lets you know things are happening. Or more creative ways like Mark Rober, who's had a continuous trend of the past few years of making different variants of glitter bombs. Where you pick a box up and it just shoots glitter bombs, fart spray, and other various things that wouldn't harm them, but just generally be a nuisance to someone who's being a general nuisance to society. But recently, I've stumbled across some videos of people getting unreasonably creative when it comes to being a porch pirate, which is just so overwhelmingly confusing to me. Like, people go to such insane lengths to seal packages that they don't even know what it contains. Like, <laughs> you, you could go through more prep time than a payday three heister to steal a package that has, like, a box of napkins in it. Like... <laughs> These people just steal things to steal things. And honestly, there are varying different reasons why people would do this. Some people just want free shit, especially around Christmas time when people are ordering more expensive items. But I think one of the biggest reasons and the kind of like dominating reason people steal things from porches is reselling. You steal something, you sell it online for a higher price or the same price. You got the item for free. So no matter what you sell it at, you're still having a net gain here. But they steal it, they sell it online, and they make some money bucks. And that's pretty swag, except it's not because you're stealing things you dickhead <laughs> it's not good it's not good stealing's not good guys breaking news stealing is bad but anyways i came across a video a little while ago of someone getting way too creative going through the realm of toy story by plopping a street cone on his head to try and steal a package from a porch and i'm gonna show you that and then we'll move into the more viral videos that have been going around the internet recently but this is a good introduction into the topic of overly creative porch piracy <laughs> Ah yes, Metal Gear Solid has done a number on this generation. Also, I love some guy stealing a package disguised as a traffic cone, as if the disguise is supposed to trick me. Like, you're not fooling anyone. I don't think that's a traffic cone walking up to my porch. I think that's a dude with a cone on his head. It's more of a piece of apparel than it is some sort of costume. <laughs> I almost didn't include that little snippet at the end, but it was hilarious. So credit to Rel 420 for making that TikTok. That was made me chortle, made me giggle a little bit. But of course, that Call of Duty prop hunt gamer actually came from the Creatine Tips TikTok account who talked about how this is how his Amazon package was stolen. And of course, it happened in Utah because nothing happens in Utah. People were theorizing that this could have been a neighbor that stole it because if you look at the cone, you see he's wearing no shoes. So unless that man was trekking all the way down the road with an industrial cone on his head and no protection for his dogs, I'm pretty sure a next door neighbor might have popped over pop the cone on real quick like a disguise and then try to steal a package from this guy or my working theory is that's just a cone because i mean have you ever seen a cone walk into a store to buy shoes before i didn't think so so obviously this could easily be a cone who just got lost and decided to, to com commit a felony <laughs> but there's been other people also talking about that cone situation i saw a post from the r slash cone heads reddit that we're just glad to get some cone representation in their community, which is very <laughs> normal. And of course, that there's a Reddit called Cone. What even is this Reddit? I don't even know what that is. It's a, it's a wait. It's an NFT. Oh, ah, oh! I've been swindled. Okay. Well, regardless, um, there's some NFT people that are happy about a cone representation. That's great to see. But of course, with that pushed all the way over there and far away. There is a new viral video that's been making its rounds on the internet of someone with a new disguise. Because yes, a cone is a wonderful, splendid disguise. Who would ever assume that a non-cone would steal a package? But this new person has actually decided to dress himself up as the Star Wars sequel movies. <laughs> what, is, what is it with this <laughs> whimsical-ass, like, Kevin mcleod ass music that's been playing in the background of every porch piracy video I've come across so far. Why is it- what's so whimsical about robbery? And then he waddled away, waddle waddle. So the owner of this house is actually named Omar Munoz, and he was not mad. 
shockingly, about this entire endeavor. See, he was actually quoted by the news saying, I take everything in a good way because that's part of life. If you see the bad in everything, you're going nowhere. Damn, didn't expect him to get so deep with this, but he said, you see the bag coming to my door. At first, I thought they were messing with me. I was angry because the package was something I was expecting. And then he said he found it funny much later. So this guy is a G. Like, he's kind of awesome for that. I respect him for being such a cool guy about it. I also... <laughs> I was, I was scrolling through this article and I got kind of confused when I got to this part of the article that said the video shared two days ago has so far collected over f four views. Uh, so we know at least the video, we know it has gotten four with some zeros to a certain extent behind it. <laughs> I think they meant 400,000, but I don't know. But of course, there's a little bit of hay in this needle stack because there's actually a video that's been going viral alongside the porch pirate with the trash bag on his head who had caught a porch pirate, oh my God, I'm struggling, a porch pirate in the act. And he's going to be, I'm sorry, I got distracted by that thing over there. I saw it hit the end. It got to the end of the road. I didn't know that was even possible. Anyway, he caught a porch pirate in the act. And now that porch pirate is going to be facing charges for it, which is absolutely splendid. You love seeing bad people have bad things happen to them. And so let me show you the video at first where the porch pirate got caught because it's hilarious. And then I'm going to tell you some more of the intricate details about the entire situation, like what he actually tried to get the guy on. Because the package that he put on his porch wasn't a real package, it was a decoy. But let me show you the video before I talk more. Oh, I would say it was right about half past that moment when he realized that he had messed up terribly. Yo, 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 Listen. yo, I just didn't want nobody to take it, bro. What do you mean you didn't want anyone to take it? You're the one taking it! When he tried to, like, bring it up as if he's trying to protect the packages from anyone else around here. He's like a local vigilante. What, are you keeping the packages warm at your house on your Amazon account? <laughs> what did he expect was gonna come from that? What you got in there? Nothing, man. What you got in that yo, bag? this is my stuff. I don't yo. Yeah, you can, yo, you can have everything, bro. Yo, I'm not, yo, yo, I live yeah, right there, bro. I the Boy, I don't care where you live. <laughs> You're currently in my residence, taking my things. Like, what, what did he anticipate was going to be the reaction to letting him know that? Did he expect that the guy was just gonna be like, oh, oh, you, you, you live right down there? Oh, that's fine. No, no, go ahead. Uh, you know, take the package too while you're at it. Go keep it warm. I'll just take a little brisk walk down when I need it. <laughs> what? Get on your knees Yo, right now. I live in Get the on your knees. Yo, I live in the car. I don't man. give a. Get on your knees. I am. And you know, I love happy endings like that, but the ending only gets happier once you learn all the lore. So let me drop it all on you for a second. So, our protagonist of this story goes by the name of Carlos Meja. He's just a guy, a dude, a man, who was tired of people stealing packages off of him and his neighbor's porches, so he sent a decoy out to try and catch somebody in the act, which is, as you saw, exactly what happened. And the antagonist, the guy he caught in the act, goes by the name of Victor Stazone. So, Carlos set this package out, which actually only had a box of old french fries and a note in it. And the note says, keep stealing our shit and you won't make the next year, you bitch-ass motherfucker. <laughs> So, even if Victor managed to actually get off of his property with the box, he still would have made it out with literally nothing of value at all, except for a bit of a stale treat. <laughs> but oh, this only gets sweeter and sweeter, because Victor actually ended up getting charged. If you go to Carlos's TikTok account, which is called Los Mage 31 you fi can find another video that's been posted after the first video of Victor getting arrested. Like, all the police have pulled up to his house, and he's in cuffs, and he ends up g being sent to jail for petite larceny, which I think means just small crime, <laughs> criminal possession of stolen property, and criminal trespass, which makes sense. He tried to get on the dude's property, tried to steal things, and unsuccessfully was caught, which is splendid. A good ending to this story. And alongside that, there was a pretty funny video that was posted on Carlos Meja's TikTok a little later from, I can only assume, his neighbor's ring doorbell, because he posted this video of Victor trying to run away. Like, he tried to make a run for it. You can see that he tried to use this as like a, a little clamber. And Carlos caught him. And then seconds later, the police pull up and are like, all right, all right, all right, what's going on here? Like, what's what's going down in Carlos Town? And they ended up catching Victor, and the rest of that is history. And of course, before we wrap this up, we have to go to my favorite part of these kinds of videos, which is the comment sections of these articles, because they're always horrendous. I saw one that was like, where is it? Let me find it. Here it is from President Joe Bribum. <laughs> said, homeowner should not have had his camera on and should not have reported it. The sh thief should have been quickly taken into his basement and disappeared? 
I didn't know that sociopaths had access to the internet. Actually, yes, I did. Twitter exists, but still. <laughs> what? Because I, hot take, I disagree. I honestly think that Carlos handled the situation absolutely perfectly because not only did he not harm Victor, but he didn't do anything wrong at all. All he did was hold him there and make sure the police could get him when he, they arrived. It was perfect. So the good guy in the story faced no negative out outcome from this. It was just a solid W all around. So don't listen to President Joe Bribum because uh, he's insane. <laughs> but regardless, I'm going to be wrapping this video up for now. I hope you enjoyed. Keep your porches safe. Keep your packages safer and subscribe if you are new. Like the video if you liked it and share this video to your local porch pirate to let him know I'm coming and nothing will stop me. <laughs> Thank you guys for being absolutely outstanding. I'll see you in whatever I make next. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and protect your packages.